When Gladys Atema Igomo started farming, authorities in Nigeria had scrapped fuel subsidies. With no electricity to run her operations, she faced rising petrol costs of nearly $100 a week until she turned to solar irrigation. Before the solar was installed, we were only growing crops during the rainy season and sparsely growing during the dry season where we get the, the um, water boards to just irrigate. But with the solar, we're able to cover large areas now because the borehole that we have is powered by solar. And then we're able to um, pump this water um, to storage tanks or directly to the plants in, in, um, in large areas, even to the greenhouse. Nigeria has one of the world's largest electricity access deficits, with 55% of the population having grid access and only 24% in rural areas, as per a World Bank report. The alternative has long been seen to be diesel generators, which are equally expensive to run due to high fuel costs. And so the shortfall has been fueling solar demands. Research from Ember Energy, a think tank that aims to accelerate clean energy transition with data and policy, shows that Africa imported more than 15,000 megawatts of solar panels in 12 months, leading up to June 2025, a 60% jump. Nigeria's share of imports exceeded 1,700 megawatts, second only to South Africa. We have experienced over 35% increments in people requesting for uh, solar installations, and we have actually carried them out, and also for solar uh, pumps. So this has actually helped us to, to scale our business at a level where uh, we we are uh, uh, we are looking at uh, uh, pr having more growth and more progress. Most solar panels are increasingly being preferred to power plants, pumps, mini grids, and rural businesses. In the rural communities, it's not easy for you to get um, a petrol station or a filling station. So most of what they come across is black market. But when you have the solar panels. As they have the solar panels at hand, it helps to uh, make them more productive. When we look at it side by side for five years, uh, definitely you find out that how much you are spending on, on fuel is actually more than what you have invested into uh, the solar system. Nigeria is promoting solar through initiatives like the Nigerian Rural Electrification Project. The trend mirrors Africa's wider push for renewables, critical for food security and climate resilience. Nigeria still faces hurdles in scaling solar from high upfront costs to limited financing options for rural farmers. But as technology becomes more affordable, industry watchers say the country could emerge as one of Africa's fastest growing renewable energy markets. Kelechi Amekalam, CGTN Abuja, Nigeria.